Hi everyone, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com here at Pizza Hut Park in Frisco, Texas, where the Sounders will take on FC Dallas. They'll have the rare opportunity to face a team that's ahead of them in the standings. It's two teams that uh, obviously have uh, aspirations to do more than just uh, compete in a regular season. We both want to get to the playoffs and secure that, so the game's important in that regard. Certainly the number two spot, uh, even the number one spot, is something that's still open at this point for our for our division and that's something that's valuable so that's something we'd like to try and get you know you end up playing at different times the team that's kind of right above you or right around you and it makes the game that little bit more important and this is one of those occasions you know we're playing dallas they're right above us and you know if we can get in there get a good result it makes a big difference for the team going forward we have to be uh, playing very hard because it's going to be a good game for us if we win we will be on top of the group much of the FC Dallas offense runs through U.S. national team midfielder Breck Shea, who has got 10 goals in the season, including one at CenturyLink Field. The Sounders will look to keep him scoreless on Saturday. He's a player who's dangerous. He's got good size. He can get on the, in on the end of crosses. He's following stuff up. He's got a good shot. You know, he's got good feet for a guy his size. So, you know, he's, uh, he's one of the guys who I think can be a, a real future star for the U.S. national team as well. They're fast and they're physical, you know, and I think he fits right into the... Um, you know, to the mold that, uh, you know, their coach is, is looking for. FC Dallas is 8-2-3 and three at home on the heels of one of the strongest defenses in MLS. They've only allowed eight goals at home this year. You know, I think Hardman's been superb for them in the two years he's been here. And, uh, you know, it certainly starts with Kevin. I mean, I had Kevin in goal for me in, in L.A., and I know his ability to make big saves at key moments in games has always been, uh, uh, you know, one of the best in, in this league. Sure, each team in MLS has tough defense, you know. You can say this team is easy or, or the defense are not tough. It's going to be a tough game. Obviously, they're in good form. Uh, the weather's going to be going to be rough for us, and uh, but no excuses. We can go in, play the way we're capable of playing, and, and get some points. FC Dallas just ended a winless drought for U.S. teams in Mexico in the middle of the week. Sounders are looking to end a similar drought. They have yet to win a game in the state of Texas. For us to win this state would be key. I thought, you know, the last couple of times we've played FC Dallas here, you know, I think maybe we've been a little bit hard done for sure. Last year, you know, we thought we had that game and, and uh, you know, we get two penalties called against us and the one was a little bit questionable at the end. So, uh, you know, maybe we could have gotten it already. But, uh, you know, we need to add that to our uh, list of accomplishments and hopefully we'll get that done uh, this Saturday. You know, when you go down and you're matching up what we've done in our history compared to what some of the Mexican teams have done, you can see why it's a difficult task. But, you know, that tide is changing. You know, the national team still hasn't won in, in, uh, in Mexico. So it's a, it's a tough task. And, you know, congratulations to Dallas to being the first. Kickoff is at 6 o'clock. You can watch the game live on Kong 616 and listen to Arlo White on 97.3 Cairo FM. At Pizza Hut Park in Frisco, Texas, I'm Matt Gash with SoundersFC.com. Words are powerful. I'm Ziggy Schmid. Hearing the words retard and retarded makes people with intellectual disabilities and those who love them feel like less valued members of humanity. That's why we're asking you to help spread the word to end the R word. Stop by the Special Olympics booth and soccer celebration to pledge your support. It's time to respect and value people with intellectual disabilities. Please join us in eliminating this offensive language in everyday speech. Thank you.